Ruth here, and this is the last Harry Potter the resin craft uh, subscription box. Sorry, I scratched in the way. Um, <laughs> as you can see, this is by well, what it says, but also this is the Hufflepuff and Slytherin box. So this is. That one a bit tight there. Um, sadly, in the box that they used to ship it, it did damage the box, which is slightly annoying, but there we have it. We've got Sophie and Toffee on the side, on the bottom. Uh, so I should be out on the top and just plain and green like that. If you notice, it has all the house colors. Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. But anyway, yes. But using it, they got um, a nest to substitute with the eater. Oh, not showing you. Yeah, badger to substitute in F there. But anyway, let's get to it, shall we? Let's see what's in this craft box. And I do like it that it's magnetized. See, so I've cut the other boxes too, but this is the only box that was damaged. That came damaged, which is really, really annoying. But anyway, I guess let's do this. Very lovely inside, and the uh, the glue job on this is very bad actually. I'll have to re use some double sided sticky tape or something because it's not supposed to be that bad. I don't know if this box is a bit rushed or something, but like even this the sticking job. Because you see there's an air bubble or whatever right there. So not as top notch as the previous ones with me. Okay. Um oh. Not a pencil. Okay, uh, right? Pencil. Alright. Not sure why it's a pencil, but let's, let's, uh, let's have a look see. Here is the, uh, all these tutorials and inspirations on the back. If you are wanting to have a look. Like, community kind of examples of what's been made. Okay, so what's in here? We have pin that's kind of through the plastic, so that's not very safe. <laughs> but this is like two pin backings for the prefect house badge mold like we had in the previous box. Um Can you see it better like that? So the Slytherin and Hufflepuff Prefect badge mold. So that's that. Oh, no, no, let's figure behind it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess this is a Lucy's Malfoy King Topper mold. So I guess that's what the pencil's for. Why will they provide the pencil? That's nice. <laughs> um, Oh, 
Okay. Mm, so that's that. We have, I guess, random fine glitter, random color. So you got two, two colors, I guess. I don't know if you really see the color on the camera. Currently I'm just using light from outside, not my room light, so it's a tiny bit darker than normal. I even I can't tell what color is actually. Uh, silver and I have no idea what the other color is. I mean, it could be a bit red. I would hope so. I have no clue. But it it looks nice. Hmm. I can't tell. <laughs> Even in person, not through camera, I can't tell. Um. Okay, so here is. Very ugly baby. Um, <laughs> the potted mandrake baby mold. So, uh, it's supposed to go up and down. As you see there. Um, oh, not just one pencil. You have two pencils. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, we've got more colors. That's nice. Um, this seven mica pigment powders, two pencils, yes, two badge pin backings. Yes, I didn't look at the second page. <laughs> Lovely. More colors. Seven colors. Got a yellow. I can have yellow. I like a gray, kind of goldy color. You really should put the names of the colors on here so you can tell. It's like a greeny, kind of teal and green color. The red, like light red. And kind of black, I think it's black. Um, maybe more brown. I don't know, but it's, it's seven colors. Lovely. Uh, then we have this. Similar to the last one. This is the design film. She just cut them out and placed it in the resin. And it's nice that they didn't seal it in the bag. So I can reuse the bag if necessary. Anyway, so like that's that. And then on to these two things, well technically three if you want to count so so we've got odorless LED UV resin 70 grams hard type non-toxic. Even has instructions of how long you're supposed to put it under UV light or sunlight. Cloudy, 20 to 40 minutes. Sunlight, 30 to 90 seconds. 36 watt UV light, 2 to 4 minutes. And 6 to 9 watt UV light, 30 to 90 seconds. That's helpful. So it tells you how long. Very helpful. Yes. Stop. Then we have the part A and part B. It's nice that it's one to one ratio. This is 
Yeah, this small. This is a 50 grams. The other bottle was a 90 grams, I thought. Anyway. Part A and part B. Very nice. Very cute small bottles, too. Um. <clears throat> And yes, the last thing I have in my hands. So it is Oath of Vessel Charms. So uh, let's let me get it open and I'll show you on my hand. So first up we got the, the ugly mandrake baby. I mean some people think might think it's cute, but personally I never been a fan of mandrake much really. Um then we have a Naked, like the Malfoy King, and then we have a. Is supposed to be a wolf? That's supposed to be. What is it? No, it's a badger. Sorry. <laughs> of course, Slytherin and Hufflepuff is to represent. I mean, seriously, does that really look like a badger? I mean, if you color it right, I guess. So that's those three dozen charms. So in the previous one, I believe we got like four or five. But anyway, that's fine. So, um, let's go down a bit. Let's um. My opinion. I like that they have both of my colors and glitter. The uh, pin backing for the prefect pin molds. Very nice that they have it together. Green pencil actually works with the, the snake. Yeah, I guess. Mm. The um, the mandrake, I guess, does go with the Hufflepuff theme. Though I don't really like mandrakes, but um, anyway. In this little booklet, it also has how-to instructions. So like, for instance, plan out your project and prepare your work de working desk with the necessary tools and supplies. Soak the resin into a hot bath to minimize bubbles. Do not heat up the epoxy resin after mixing. This will result in flash cure and will damage the mold. Mix the epoxy resin in equal parts of A and B. You can still use a measuring cup or a weighing scale for better accuracy. Make sure to wear gloves and a filter mask whenever working with resin. It's best to double glove in case one rips to protect your skin from possible burns. Avoid breathing any resin fumes. Here, some pictures. And the other how-to bit is for um, that uh, the prefect mold, and then here is how to put together the uh, thing. Mandrake, yeah, this works. Hmm. Should be interesting to make, anyway. I guess you could make that into a magnet if you want to do, or a pin. Be interesting. I guess so. Um, I 
you could seal them together by Healy Resin, or I think there was like the fast five minute pure resin glue thing. But you'd have to find it on Amazon or somewhere. Um, I just, because I'm nitpicking, I just want to point out there is no space between and and loose. <laughs> and loose? You spelled wrong. Should be another L as well, I believe. Um, so there's the magic mold as well, and the mold. No comma needed there. Capital P for place. That's intended full spot. The pieces is sealed together as shown here. With the mandrag sitting unattached and loose in the center. The mandrag should be held in the pot by only its desserts. Oh, it could be a shame. <laughs> and should be able to slide in and out of the pot. Out and could replace with it. I, I'm just <laughs> I'm being nitpicky right now, but I just thought might as well. Probably can use as a proofreader. Um, use either paint or mica to color the molds instead of the resin. If you use paint, you will need to use epoxy resins in order for the paint to be transferred. Good to know. Mix the epoxy resin with colors of your choice and color the molds. I suggest either mica powder or alcohol ink for epoxy resin. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's no space between one and plan. Uh, yeah, I think these ones are fine. But yeah, I'm just super nitpicky. <laughs> so if you didn't see the the design film clearly, there's a a better I guess picture of it. So there's two designs of the flags or the pennants, but there's only one design each of everything else. Which is a bit. Um, I'm gonna put two on two designs and. One one you should at least do two of everything, maybe. So like one normal size, one mini size of everything on the same film, maybe. Just a thought. Anyways, so that's everything. So I might make a little something something at the end here. Maybe put it at the end clip of this. I did actually make some something. Um, I think I'm gonna put it in its own video because it's, it's a mixture of the Harry Potter thing and not the Harry Potter thing. So I'll put it in its own video, I guess. But it's, it goes with like, I think it was a box two. I can't remember. But um, yes, I did make some stuff, which uh, look forward to seeing that. I think I'll be uploading this one before the other one. Which I mentioned something in this vlog. I mentioned the uh, prefix badges because I did make, I guess, well, I did make two of these. So we didn't, I'm not sure if it actually came out quite as what I hoped, but um, yeah. But yes, that, that's everything. Um, so thank you for watching. Let's check the I really don't know if I'm over and out.